want to create videos? Of course you do. Everybody does. Video is hot, right? But can you create engaging videos without expensive editing? Can you really do this? No, this is an honest question. And I want to answer this question. I'm doing an experiment. Check this out. This is a cool experiment to see and really answer the question. Can this be? <music> experiment. I'm going to tell you about the experiment in a second, but really the whole crux of the question is, can you create engaging videos without endless editing? Now that's one area. I mean, people will use their iPhone. Okay. And they'll say, okay, you can use that. And then you don't have to worry about expensive equipment and all that. Okay. Regardless on if that's true or not, the real crux of the whole thing is you'll still have that time you take to go through and edit out all those mistakes. And those mistakes are things like um and ah, uh, and you start to say something and then you get kind of tripped up and you don't, and then you gotta keep, and then uh, uh, you know what I mean? And so you get and that endless video editing that you'll pull in different media and make it more engaging and really just get it really nice and polished and, you know, a lot of times feature films, you need to have all the editing. But what about for those short videos that you'll use for an about page? Let's say you'll use for a sales video. Let's say you'll just use in general to engage on social media. What about those videos? Can you make engaging videos and not suffer through the endless editing and all that? So really, I wanted to do an experiment to see. Before we do the experiment, though, let's look at video itself and the struggle that people go through with it. Okay, so here's the pain that some of you are going through with video. You want to get the right words, you want to script it out, and then you read that script, and you have the right words, but it's scripted. So you it looks stilted, and it's not flowing right, and then you try to edit it so that it does, or it looks cool and all that, but you know, it just doesn't work out. So one, you want to be unscripted. You want to come through naturally. You want to have that confidence on camera to basically just say what you need to say um, without having to just read a script. You want to come through naturally. So one of the pain points is you want to come through naturally on camera without using a script. That's one pain point. The other pain point is the editing process. You get all that done. You've done all this work to create an awesome script and, and deliver it in a way that's uh, confident and unscripted. And then you have to go through and edit. You just have to spend money on the software and then you have to learn all that software and then you have to spend the time actually editing. It takes a lot of time editing. Editing is really cool and it's an actual art form, really. Good editors are able to take visions of what people want and then transform it from all the content they've been given. It's an art form. Hands down, editing is really valuable. I want to make that part clear. But here's the thing. Not everything though needs to be edited with that in mind. In fact, a lot of times with engagement, you're going to get a much more powerful result if you're just there on camera and you're able to express your ideas in an engaging way. And so that's where I'm going at with this experiment. I'm looking at, okay, confidence on camera and the pain of editing and bring those together with this experiment. Okay, so video is hot and we can see this struggle is real. And now the question becomes, can you eliminate a lot or most of that? Okay, and here's the experiment. I want to do an experiment to see because one of the elements that a lot of people miss when they look at equipment and, and editing and it gets piled onto them, the expense and the time consuming part of it, but they miss out on one of the fundamental things of creating video and that's confidence on camera. That's getting your voice. That's learning how to speak on camera and yet having it engaging enough that you're like speaking to another person. That's what you want, right? So not everybody can do that. Or can they? See, I wanted to do an experiment to see after 30 days of doing Facebook Lives, if in fact you can get confidence on camera so that you wouldn't need endless editing, you wouldn't need any of that. You could just basically do uh, your videos in one take. Now, this takes a lot of practice, but I'm telling you, in 30 days, my premise is that in 30 days, if you use Facebook Lives in the right way and you use the compound effect and deliberate practice, that by the end of 30 days, you can actually do videos or create videos without editing, without editing. Now, can you imagine being able to do that to time and will save you and the ability you'll have to just create videos on the fly? Imagine that that's what you want, right? You want to be able to just sit down with the camera, create your videos and not have to sweat through as we saw before the struggle is real with creating videos. It's, it's, it's a struggle. Join me in this experiment. 
and you'll be able to join on several different levels. You can either join and just uh, sign up for Facebook Messenger and get a ping when we go live, or you can actually sign up with email and I'll give you um, a cheat sheet. You can do your own experiment alongside mine, or you can actually join the Facebook group and see behind the scenes. I'll be using Ecamm Live. I love Ecamm Live. I'll be using Ecamm Live to do all of this. And I'll give you a behind the scenes look on how um, I'm creating the media and um, accomplishing all the different things with Ecamm Live. Now, OBS Studio can also be used. I won't be using it because I use a Mac, but OBS Studio, if you just have a PC, because Ecamm Live is just for Mac, if you have a PC, OBS Studio works great. It's just a little more uh, time consuming initially to understand how the whole system works, but you could certainly use it with OBS Studio. Um, but I'm going to be using Ecamm Live. And my criteria is this basically, I want to, by the end of the Facebook Live, I want to be able to see if, you know, watching the first few videos at the start of the month and then watching the last few videos at the end to see if there's a recognizable positive transformation between the two videos and then we'll also be looking at analytics um because that's a subjective look like you look at it and you feel like there's a recognizable difference that's that's kind of subjective but we'll also be looking at analytics and seeing my goal is to have people watch at least 50 percent or more of the video so the whole idea is not to just produce videos but to get people engaged and to watch that much and that takes a lot and usually that is refined through editing, but there's storytelling techniques, there's hooks, there's different ways of making sure that people are engaged. So I want to go through, through this Facebook Live, and if at the end we can actually show a concrete change and also an ability to engage an audience. We'll look at those analytics and see if we've made that uh, a success by the end. Now, again, we'll be able to look if you join the Facebook group, Crave Habits Podcast fledgling Facebook group because right now it is small, but it will be growing. And you'll get behind the scenes look at using Ecamm Live. So um, join that or uh, sign up. I have the link here. Um, you can sign up and get a cheat sheet. And you can basically join in that challenge and uh, do your own. Um, you know, get Ecamm Live or OBS Studio and join your own and follow along at the same time. It's 30 days, so you really have to sweat it out. But by the My end, my premise is that by the end, you'll be able to create a video without editing. Now, obviously, this one was edited, right? So I'm not there yet, but I will be. Follow along. I'll get there by going through the Facebook Lives Challenge, going live, 30 days of going live every day, making the compound effect work. But not only that, but deliberate practice. And I'll describe that um, in one of the lives as we go forward so that you'll get an idea of how that works and what to kind of look for in practice. So the content that'll be covered on this is really content that it's going to help any creative entrepreneur with their journey. A lot of it is going to be, um, you know, looking at uh, creative habits experiments, but also be looking at um, irresistible offers, uh, funnel creation, media creation, using Canva. I'll be going from the concrete, you know, kind of like how do you do, um, you know, lower thirds and um, bring in different things like that, but I'll also be looking at the woo woo side in terms of uh, procrastination, um, getting rid of anxiety and things like that, that are a little less uh, measurable, uh, but no less um, transformational in its ability to make sure that as a creative entrepreneur, you can, you know, make the journey worthwhile. So follow along because the content itself, despite the, the challenge, of course, is towards making these Facebook lives engaging, but I want to make the content worthwhile, obviously, and then not have it be about video necessarily, because I think, you know, some of it will be, and I'll bring in some different people, I'm hoping, cross my fingers, but, um, but it won't just be about video. Um, it'll be about the creative process, creative habits, stuff that I brought out on the podcast already, but expand upon it and bring in different elements to make it uh, interesting, educational, and inspiring. So I really think that even if you don't join the Facebook Live Challenge, that you'll get a lot out of the content from watching the Facebook Live. So do join in, at least get pinged with the Facebook Messenger. So when we do go live, you won't miss it. Um, this uh, challenge is going to start on June 1st, so it's really soon. And so sign up uh, below. I look forward to it and hope to see you in the Facebook Live Challenge. Thanks a lot for watching.